Luke Williams has insisted that the key message to his Knotts County side ahead of their trip to Woking is to remember the key moments that have got the Magpies top of the National League table. Macaulay Langstaff's 15th goal of the season was enough to edge a thrilling top of the table clash on Tuesday night, with Knotts surviving a Wrexham onslaught in the second half after a dominant first half performance. The things that have put us top at this moment, we must not forget those key things that put us there, said Williams. We must not lower the standard from that. I think against Altrincham we did, and we got away with it and that can't happen again. Altrincham were a very good team and posed us problems, but it was not about that it was about the physical output of the players and about the intensity of the running and the pressure they applied to the ball that wasn't correct. Thankfully they turned up in a great way on Tuesday, and now they have to understand that they have to go again because you will not be able to get away with dropping your performance level very often. Knotts conceded in their fixture with Altrincham, with Marcus Denonga scoring his first goal of the season. We have uncharacteristically given up chances that we have not been giving up at all. Of course, you have a goalkeeper for a reason and when all else fails, you have a goalkeeper that can get you out of trouble. I thought the goalkeeper for Wrexham has kept them in a few games and he made some big saves against us. There were some efforts from inside the penalty box that ordinarily would go in, but no I think it is true that we have given up more opportunities in the last two performances than I would be happy with. I expect Wrexham to create, I thought we could have done a better job of keeping Altrincham at arm's length, we have given up chances, but we have also won both games and conceded one goals in the two games, so it is not a terrible return. One of the only negatives from the win on Tuesday night was seeing midfielder Jim O'Brien depart after 35 minutes, with the midfielder turning awkwardly in midfield and instantly signaling to the bench to come off. Williams revealed he is still unsure on the diagnosis and the severity of the injury sustained by the Scotsman but remained upbeat about the situation. I can't really tell you too much unfortunately because he is having a scan later today, explained Williams. That should reveal much more and then we can start to plan roughly how long it will take Jim to be back to playing. I am very hopeful, but there is already some sign that it could certainly be worse, but I am pretty sure that Jim will be doing everything correctly and that gives me optimism.